Today, we're working on the power unit for those uh, string of LED lights. Seeing if we can get it apart. Uh, BigClive.com worked on a very similar, well, in fact, I would say identical power unit. Uh, he ended up smashing it apart with a hammer, apparently. But in his later videos, he does talk about using these because you can open them right up and add a bit of pressure on the outside and as you can probably see I've actually got a crack forming around the edges so I think we might be able to get in as you can see There we are. We are in. A little bit caught just there. Be careful not to actually cut through to the circuit board. All right, this is identical. Well, I say identical. It looks identical to me to the one that Big Clive took apart. This bit should lift out doesn't want to. Might need a little bit of encouragement. Right. And then the circuit board comes out from under those clips. Now on the one that Big Clive was working on, there was a space for a extra chip, a memory chip. That would remember where you had it set to last. I'm not seeing that here. Oh no wait a minute. It might be in that area where we got those tags that haven't got anything on them. Anyway, that's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is any evidence of something that's died that we can fix. Now, I'm looking at that. And that looks, we'll go close up, but that looks a little bit disturbed on the surface. Right, if I can hold that still for a second. Yeah, that looks suspiciously like it's um, overheated, burnt out. So I think that's what our problem is. And obviously we can't actually read what the chip number was on there. If it actually had a chip number. Because it's been destroyed. So we're out of luck there. Don't think we're going to fix this. Well, that just goes to show how misleading things can be. That was just muck on the surface of the chip. I've just wiped it. And we can see it quite clearly now. So it isn't burnt out, or at least not as obviously as I thought it was. All right, now that I've just cleaned the whatever it was off the surface, I can't see any obvious problems. Well, that's annoying. I thought it was going to be something simple, nice burnt out chip that we could see. That was faulty. Hmm. 
No, that's disappointing. I was hoping for a, as usual, easy fix. I can focus on them. Yeah, those capacitors look okay. They're not puffy. Ah, that's a shame. Nothing conclusive. Just in case you missed the previous video, that's a picture of the cover. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, and check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.